Hello, everyone. <laughs> I hope you're having a great day. Oh, 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 it's telling me that my my stream went live. So that's appropriate. Um, don't you just love when your phone tells you that you went live yourself? So <laughs> I just want to say hello to Mike. Mike is always like the first person in the chat. So thank you so much. Um, and Mike said, my best Disney Christmas gift is meeting everybody in this Disney community. Oh, that's so special. Um, and I completely agree. It's so, so special to have all these friends. Um, Priscilla, hello. Captain Akron, hello. Um, Lena, what's up? Um, Patrick, oh. Oh, okay, it jumped. Hold on. <laughs> uh, Lady Jamers, Tracy, hello. Lynn, hello. Um, Russ, no worries. Uh, sleep well. Haley Ann, um, let's see. Dre, hi. Uh, ben, hello. Hi, Jenna. Uh, Stevie Lee, K. Uh, Alex Brunner, Karen Cook. Um, Miguel, hello. Hi, Noah. Hey, Pam's fam. Donna, hello. Surfer Girl, hello. Everyone, please go check out Surfer Girl. She is just getting past, I think, like 20 something subscribers. So, if someone wants to put her link in the description, I mean, in the chat, whatever this is. <laughs> hey, Stacy. Hey, G. Wilson. Um, let's see. Oh, are you wearing your New York City Rangers cap? I am. That's my team, the Rangers. Hey, Rock and Robin. Hey, Arnie. Um, hey, Jim. Oh, Thena, welcome. Uh, Brandy and Dave, hello. It must be Brandy because there's a heart. Um, Brian, hello. Marshmallow Man. Uh, I think I'm. I, Julie, hello. I think I'm pretty much caught up with everyone. So welcome. Oh, Lady Jamers has 46 subscribers. That's awesome. Congrats. Um, so today, well, first, I want to start off by saying um, thank you to everyone that watched my first Vlogmas video. It means a lot to me. I have been very discouraged with YouTube lately. Um, and there's just like a lot of stuff going on in, in my personal life as well. So it tends to take, I feel like, more out of me now to put together a video. And then it, you know... Oh, number 24. That's awesome, Lynn. Hi, Mike. Welcome. Um, and just, it means a lot to me that it was better received than um, some of my other videos have been of recent. Hey, hey Unicorn Kitty, welcome. <laughs> That's a really cool name. Um, so I just want to say thank you to everyone who watched it and um, the support that I've received on it. And um, yeah, it means a lot. So Today, I wanted to talk about some Disney gifts that you can get for the people that are like us, that really love Disney. Um, 19 days and I go to Disneyland. That's awesome. Uh, I'm planning to watch your day one of Vlogmas. Just I haven't had the chance to get... No worries, Stacey. Yeah, I know um, there is so many... There's so many people doing Vlogmas this year, and uh, it's... It, I feel like you're we're inundating people. Um, which is crazy. Yes, almost at 5,000. How crazy is that? Um, that I started YouTube almost two years ago and I'm almost at 5,000 subscribers. Like how bananas is that? Um, but for all you amazing people here in the chat, we all really love Disney. And I'm sure that one of our Christmas presents will inevitably be a Christmas Disney gift. Hey, Ryan, I hope you're feeling better. Um, and I know Ryan is also doing Vlogmas, so be sure to check out his channel as well. Um, oh, enjoy dinner, Arnie. Uh, exactly a week until New York City, hashtag not Disney. No, no, that's awesome. I mean, I we I love visiting the city in like Christmas time. Um, Patrick, I don't know if the 100% was that you're getting a Christmas Disney present. Um, there are so many Vlogmas videos I will be watching till next Vlogmas starts. Exactly. Yeah. And it was, I, I did it last year. It was definitely really tough, but my channel grew a lot and I met a lot of really awesome people and I already have like eight or nine days like uploaded and like scheduled. So it's going to get me through my finals. Hey, Steve. Awesome stream. I cannot wait to do a very special stream with Steve next week. So be sure to check that out. <laughs> I feel like the new segment just has to be I, what I said in your chat. Um, crazy bananas. Yes. 
<laughs> it is crazy bananas. Um, so for other people that are in your life that might like Disney just as much as you, hey, Ray J, welcome. I have some ideas for you guys. I brought props with me. I feel like Diz and that. I'm also not wearing the right spirit jersey. This is a Halloween one. So <laughs> you can get the person that you love or your family member, whoever, a Christmas spirit jersey. And you can see I have them. I have my Christmas one in several of my upcoming videos. So you'll be able to see it. But on the love props, yes, I have a lot of props today. So the first thing that I like to talk about, welcome, Andrew, hashtag because Steve has spoken. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Lady Jamer says you love Halloween, so it's okay. Yes, my Halloween spirit jersey. Um, so I'm going to just start off with something that's very near and dear to my heart. Hey, Cody, welcome, which are ears. <laughs> I love, love Christmas Minnie Mouse ears. Um, I am lucky. Oh, your top sparkles like Christmas. That's what I thought too. Exactly, Lana. So I had made a tutorial on th these pair of ears, this pair of ears um, that if you guys are interested in making, I also, they also light up. So let me turn them on. Boop. Uh, so if you guys are interested in learning how to make them, I have a video. It was like one of my first videos of Vlogmas last year, but I'm also planning on doing another video in about a week and a half of another version of these. But then I just like really like, I'm sure Jenna understands the struggle of like <laughs> having so many, I only brought out two, but the Christmas ears, like they are I, I just love getting new pairs of ears. And the problem is, is that I learned how to make them. So I'm like, oh, a fabric I like? Ooh, a holiday I like? <laughs> Let's just make some. So I have so many ears that I just, so many ears, not enough time. Exactly, Jenna. I have so many ears and I'm like, which ones do I bring with me? So I almost brought these ones with me to Disneyland, but I actually ended up bringing another pair I brought, another pair I made. <laughs> I actually brought another pair I brought. No, I made another pair to uh, match the spirit jerseys that my mom and I bought. So I made us matching ears too. And thank you so much, Surfer Girl. Um, do you want to build a snowman? Uh, where do I store all my ears? That is another question that I will have to make another video about because I have gotten it. Um, I did make a DIY storage thing too out of a oatmeal canister, which I also think works pretty well. Um, but I, I, the amount of ears that I have, um, <laughs> forget the ears, love the hockey hat. That's also on here too. Um, and I actually have this hat here that Russ made me, which says Mickey's magic. And on the back it says Meg. So I'm, so grateful for that one. It sits here when I'm not on vacation in uh, like on top of my jack. So um, yes, you can wear cute ears, buy shoes or Mickey ears. The struggle is real. Oh my gosh, exactly. Oh, I, I, <laughs> I have so many pairs of Disney ears. It's crazy. Um, Oh, that's so great, Surfer Girl. Um, but if you bought the materials, you still technically bought them if you made them. Well, I take a lot of time. And if anyone else out there is a crafter or likes to do art, um, <laughs> you know that a lot of times you go out and buy the materials and they cost more than what it would take to actually buy it. So typically it's just like you spend more than, <laughs> like I don't make very much on my ears just because I put in so much money into like buying my materials that I, ju I just do it more as a hobby. Um, hey, Lawrence Travels, welcome. But anyone else, I'm like, why buy this when I can make it for $100, right? So um, next to ears, I also put down hats. So um, if you guys are interested, I also have made um, like ear hats, which you can easily do if you learn how to make ears. Instead of attaching them to a headband, you just attach them to a hat. So that's good for any male person or anyone that, I mean, I think, men can wear ears too, but um, any person that wants to have a an ear hat, because sometimes I like to not have the sun on my face. You guys in a lot of my videos might see me wearing a hat, even though I own so many pairs of ears. Thanks, Stacy, for posting that. Yeah, that's the, the tutorial for this one. So if you guys are interested, it lights up. Um, 
Let me turn it back on. There we go. The switch is in the back. So, and I like hit it with some like fake snow, <laughs> fake snow, AKA polyfill. Um, but I'm, move, I'm going to move on to um, the next one, which is a Disney ornament. Um, so any Disney ornament, I'm sure your family or loved one will love. Right now I just have this Sully, uh, Boo is missing, like she she broke off. So that's why I have her right now. The rest are on my tree. Um, but like any Disney ornament also is attached by a paper clip. So <laughs> you could tell how long that I've had these ornaments for. Um, would you say an ear is about as round as a Pringle container lid? Um, so I don't, it's bigger than that, just because the thing is, is that you need to measure out what the ear might look like. And then you need to have like a good um, quarter of an inch, um, maybe half an inch seam allowance. So the way that you trace it out um, is going to be different than what you sew it. Or if you're gluing it, I sew all my ears. Um, but I know like my friend Saria from Dream It DIY also does a lot of like non-sewing, no-sew um, ears. Uh, I have never made the ears. Oh, well, there's always a lot of like, I don't know, trial and error. When I started making ears, I like, I was not very good. And then I've gotten a little bit better as time goes on and, you know, more and more practice. Um, it's smaller than the size of a CD. Um, no worries, Stacey. Uh, enjoy whatever you're doing or I hope whatever it is, you know, it's good. Um, so you have ornaments and Yes, I'm sure if you guys have any other questions about making ears, I think Lena had suggested maybe doing like a DIY stream of just making ears. I think any, yes, that's a good point, Stevie Lee. Any size of ears that you want to make are good for you. I'm not a fan of the really, really big, um, big ears, but I do like the tiny ones. So I might try and make a really tiny pair, like the really tiny ones that have like the little ears on the side. Um, but then I also just, I, I like to follow my templates that I have. Um, so the next one that I wanna talk about is one that I have right next to me too. So I'm gonna get more props, hello. Um, what's one craft you'd like to try but haven't yet? Huh, I don't know. I'm doing, I'm doing some more crafts. Um, there's one that I've wanted to do for a long time that I'm going to be doing. So keep an eye on out, eye out for that. Um, I also, I'm doing a couple DIY videos for Christmas. So this next one is um, a Funko. Anyone that likes Funkos. Oh, Lena. Oh my gosh. Thank you. That's so sweet. Um, I can't wait to see which pair you bought. <laughs> um, so a lot of people like to collect Funko Pops as well. So I obviously like the Haunted Mansion. I was able to snag one of these at um, Target. Who is my favorite Disney character? Ooh, um, I really like all... Oh, I'm not making custom pops. No, this is one that I bought. So this is something that you could buy. Um, this one was um, an exclusive to Target. Um, but there, I don't make custom pops. <laughs> um, my, I really love Winnie the Pooh. Um, but I also really like all things Halloween and the Nightmare Before Christmas and the Haunted Mansion. Um, yes, well, I mostly collect Lord of the Rings. Oh, oh, hold on. Got to mute myself because there's a phone. Okay, hopefully it picked up now. Um, Oh, thank you, Lynn, so much. And don't mind my awkward dance because sometimes the phone will say like who's calling with last names and I just like want to protect everyone's privacy. But Lynn, thank you so much. <laughs> that was so sweet of you. Um, I'm just going to be like really awkward again. This is what you always get when you have live, you know, whatever. Um, just I feel like we were talking about this in Steve's stream is um, how YouTube helps people come out of their shell and just, I am natural, Disco Meg, yeah. <laughs> I'm naturally very shy. Um, so if you met me in person, I probably, I mean, I'm pretty much the same person, but I'm very, I'm like very introverted. So I tend to like shy away <laughs> from other people a lot. So 
doing YouTube and doing live streams in particular, I mentioned in Steve's stream, um, professionally, it has helped me with my presentations, especially um, if I, cause I run a lot of groups and um, if people like, if something happens, it gives me more confidence to deal with it. Like just <laughs> deal with whatever has gone wrong or whatever I wasn't expecting. Um, Let's see. I'm super shy as well, Meg. I just asked Papa and Mama Mouse from when I met them on Saturday. Well, sometimes, you know, we could, we, we build up that. I mean, um, you didn't seem shy to me. You're getting better. Oh, well, I mean, I am very shy. I try not to be. Um, but I think the way that people, I, I also want to make a clarification that being introverted doesn't mean that you're necessarily shy. It means that you get more energy by being by yourself than being with people. So if you are extroverted, you are in your element when you're at a party, when you're with people, when you're you know doing things like that. But for me, when I'm alone, I get all my energy. So a lot of times when I'm with a lot of people, I get really drained, um, especially when it comes to my headaches. So when it, when I hit a certain level, I'm like, I need to retreat. Um, I need to be my shy self. But when I get, ex you guys know that I get very excited. Um, it has nothing to do with being shy though. Um, but I, but yeah, I'm not shy, but I feel that way when meeting YouTubers or people online in real life. Yeah. I, I mean, I feel that way too. I think that's natural. <laughs> I think Ryan might be an extrovert too. I'm like, I'm kind of guessing that, but yes, that is what an extrovert and an introvert are. If you guys didn't really know what they were, because a lot of people are like, oh, I'm really outgoing and I talk to people. So I'm an extrovert, but that's not really what it is. It's that you get more energy being around people. So you could get someone a Funko Pop and you could also maybe get a, I don't know, a custom pop. But yes, let me check that off my list. Okay, the next thing is one of my favorite things too. Boom, 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 Disney pins. Woo! So if you guys know, I am a huge Disney pin collector. So you can get your Disney lover family member or whoever they are, your loved one, a Disney pin. They are very addictive, but um, they are great small presents that people could store or create collections. Um, so I really love it. And I want to catch up with your comments really quick. Um, I am, and let's see, are you saying an ambivalent? <laughs> I don't know, an extrovert? I don't know, <laughs> ambivert? I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, falls in the middle between um, introvert and extrovert continuum. Um, they have a blend of traits from both introverts and extroverts, as well as their own unique strengths. That's very interesting. I've never heard of that term before. Um, that's awesome, Pam. I'm so glad that you feel that way. We feel that way, too. Um, who would have guessed Meg would bring up Disney pins? <laughs> I don't know. Definitely not me. Um, same, Steve, but I'm always willing to accept them as a gift because <laughs> my parents, they just know. They're like, what would Megan want? And then they're like, she would want Disney pins. So, um, oh gosh, for anyone, it's just like a small thing. I mean, they're they're not super expensive. If you buy someone one or two pins, it's good to just, I, I mean, because I have so many pins, I... Um, I have a whole pin board that I'm working on for Christmas, but I definitely, yes, stocking stuffers. That's a great point, Lena. Um, so check that off the list. The next thing that I want to talk about, I feel like I'm running out of time, but I'm not. I know I have a lot of time. Um, I love them. I bought myself a new one this week. Same. <laughs> I really need to stop though, because um I like really, I can't anymore. I can't buy anything else. I really like, I bought all my Christmas presents and I can't buy any more money for like the whole year, like all next year, 2020. That's going to be the year of saving. So <laughs> the next thing I want to talk about are Disney candles. So Disney candles. So I put toys in my socks. You put pins in your socks, but you don't wear them. You wear, you don't wear stockings. You hang them up. Um, so this one in particular, I really like. This is from the Magic Candle Company. It's called Pirate Banana Rum. If you guys know the smell, um, you know, like everyone talks about the smell in pirates, but I'm not talking about the smell of pirates in the water. Like, I don't like that bromine smell. I don't know why someone would want a candle out of that, but I'm sorry. <laughs> That's just my opinion. Um, 
I'm an extrovert because my job has transformed me always on stage. So you just have to have fun with it. But funny because I don't do crowds. They give me anxiety. Same thing, Lynn. I feel like I've been pushed to do more. Like I'm still an introvert a hundred percent because after I'm with my groups and I, I do my groups. Um, if you guys don't know, I am, um, Oh, I will be graduating with my master's in May in counseling. So I do a lot of counseling groups and I run them. And after I'm done with those, after spending an hour plus with people and listening to their problems or whatever, I'm like very drained. Um, but I, I'm very present there when I'm when I'm with everyone. So I feel like at that point, I have to be there as um I have to be as present as I can. I feel like that has really pushed me to be more open and outgoing, but overall I'm very introverted. So um, is there a candle that smells like the lobby at Pop Century asking for a friend? A hundred percent, yes, there is. Um, thanks, Steve. So this is one of my favorite ones because this smells like the fire part um, in Pirates. So it's not the water. <laughs> I don't like the water smell, but I do like, it's like when you go in, to like where everything's burning and it smells like that scent. It smells amazing. And uh, it's so, the, these scents are really potent. And the other scents that I've gone through completely um, are the, we bought three Norway candles and that we're completely out of them. Um, so we really like the smell in Norway, um, which is if you go through like the store, that smell of the perfume, Hey, Dougie, I hope you feel better. Oh, Patrick says he has a bunch of them too. So we really like the Norway smell. It kind of smells like the perfume. I've gone through um, Dole Whip. I've gone through Churro. I really like sweet scents. That's just me. And oh, Andrew's a former Walt Disney World lifeguard. That's awesome. How cool is that? Um, but I would highly recommend getting this um, candle. I haven't tested out too many other um, Disney scented candles, but I know my friend Corey Fiasco has a coupon code for the Magic Candle Company, but I also know that they're running like a 20% um, sale right now. I know if you use Corey's code, they give you 15% off like literally any day, but if you are getting it today, I would use the 20% off code, but if you use the 15% off code, you're helping Corey out. So um I wouldn't know why anyone would want a candle that smelled like a pirate. This smells really good. Um, is there a candle that smells like the men's room near the Lacellier restaurant? I don't know if I would want that. Um, I, you know, Brian, they have so many different candles on there. You guys could just check out their website. It's called the Magic Candle Company. But I also know that there are a lot of, yes, help Corey, guys. Um, it's called, um, the coupon code is Corey15. Um, and if you guys do that, you'll be helping Corey out. So I know that would be a really nice Christmas present for him too. Um, so the candle, another one off the list. So another one that might not apply to all men, but it might not apply to all women either. Um, wait, which ones? Oh, I have a, a new favorite scent. It is the Banshee Flight that smells like the ocean from Flight of Passage. Yes, I love that. And it smells like we have Banshee Flight too. If you smell quite correctly, you don't get a discount, but you will be spelling it correct. Ah, oh my gosh, Corey. <laughs> yes, that is Corey with an E because he is evil and E stands for evil. <laughs> Pirates don't shower. You guys are so funny. But we're, oh, the next thing is it might not apply to all women. It might not apply to all men, but Disney makeup. I mean, if, if you guys have never done Steve, this might be for you. I mean, I'm thinking maybe for Christmas, the did and that guys could get you some <laughs> Disney makeup. Um, so this is one of the palettes from ColourPop and ColourPop has been making some really incredible Disney palettes makeup. I know Corey, you had one job. We have one in like every room, Steve. It's the best. I have the spray for the car too. That's so cool. Yes. ColourPop has an Anna and Elsa one. They look incredible. I can't spend any more money right now, so that's not for me. But um, just the theming on the, this is the villains one, and you guys could see I've been using it. I brought this to Disney World, um, but I just like love the colors. I have the princess one as well, and then the masquerade set. So it's just, if you know anyone in your life that likes makeup, <laughs> Steve, <laughs> wait, did someone say the St Steve's makeup fund? <laughs> 
<laughs> Steve doesn't need it. He's so pretty without it. I totally agree. But Steve likes to do makeup sometimes with me. But the cool thing is about ColourPop that, um, not that, I mean, ColourPop, if you'd like to sponsor me in any way, that would be really cool. But they're really affordable palettes. Like, I think this palette is like $18 or something. And the pigment is really crazy. I know you guys don't really care, but if I do like a swatch. So what color should I swatch? You guys let me know. I'm like really feeling this purple color there in the middle. But I'm like totally open to showing you guys what it looks like. We need a GoFundMe for Steve's makeup fund. Nah. Wait, not makeup, costume, costumery. I don't, is that a real word? <laughs> Can you post your PO box? I'm going to send a card. Oh, thank you so much, Lauren. Um, it is in the description, I believe, um, the purple. Oh, thanks, Steve. Okay, so we're gonna do the purple right here. Just look, boop, boop. Ready? Look at that. Dang. Oh my gosh, guys. Just imagine that on your eye. Like. It's so pretty and I just love it. Disney makeup is awesome. But um, Andrew just super chat for costume fun. No, that's okay. That's Steve's channel. <laughs> but yes, it is super intense. Don't mind. I like had extra on my hand too. Um, but I just love these colors. They're amazing. And I would highly recommend any of the palette. I haven't tried um, the Anna and Elsa Frozen set, but they have like two sets. That is some good costume artistry application. Thanks, Steve. I can't wait until next week. So I would highly recommend getting anything from ColourPop, whether it's um, the eyeshadows or the highlighters or the blushes or the, I think they call them lippies, but the lipsticks or lip glosses are also really nice and affordable. I think they're like $6 for the lip glosses or lipsticks, which is really affordable for people that know makeup. Um, the next one, I want hashtag I'm pretty. Did I'm pretty show up? Please tell me I'm pretty showed up. If someone, whoever's I'm pretty come. Um, so the next thing I want to talk about is quickly maybe for a kid or an adult like me that likes blushies, um, can't beat a, <laughs> a bit of lip gloss. Exactly. Oh, Lena, thank you so much. Meg's makeup fund because, you know, that's going to go to my run Disney fund if that's okay, because I would like to get myself one pin from the run Disney races. But thank you so much, Lena. Let me, I always forget that I could highlight things now. But look at this, you could get a plushie. So this is a Christmas themed plushie of Minnie Mouse. You can get any plushie really. Disney has been having crazy sales on Shop Disney with the plushies. 100% um, okay with me. Oh, thank you so much, Lena. <laughs> I can just imagine Steve sitting with his tin of popcorn minus the cheese binge watching makeup tutorials to prep for my stream next week. <laughs> oh, I love it. Lynn, I wish that I was doing the princess run. I am doing um, the dopey challenge. So, oh, how about I, she likes warm hugs too. So you could definitely get a plushie, any plushie, depending on what character they like. Um, I have a Lotso one that smells like strawberries and is so, so soft. But if you are feeling in the Christmas spirit, you could definitely get a Christmas plushie. They have ones of Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Donald, um, Pluto. I don't know if they have one of Daisy. I feel like Daisy's the forgotten character. Um, were you getting hangry? Well, I hope you guys feel better after eating. <laughs> but yes, plushies are always good too. So another thing that you could get them is a Disney mug. So whether it's a travel mug like this, who's Daisy? <laughs> I don't even know, a flower, I guess. Um, but you could get them either a travel mug like this, or you could get them like a typical mug that you would use for coffee, tea, whatever. Um, I am usually on the run, so I do like my travel mugs, but I also have an abundance of Disney mugs that I just use on a daily basis. Um, I know that they have, um, or you could get them anything Ariel. I'm not opposed to that either. Um, good night, Dougie. Have a great night. Um, I hope you feel better. Um, 53 watching and only 43. Oh, thank you so much, Lena. That's awesome. Thank you everyone for being here. And look at all this, this food. Oh my gosh. So much food. Um, 
Let's see, especially at Tusker House. Oh, what did I what did I miss? <laughs> I missed something. Zip only has eyes for Ariel. Well, I think he only has eyes for Nicole, but I don't know, maybe Ariel too. <laughs> but yes, Disney mugs are, I mean, there's nothing ever bad about, I'm just noticing that you could see like part of my birthday balloon strings up here. I didn't notice that. Um, but a, a Disney mug or a mug is just a good, gift for anyone so sometimes they like to stuff like little candies in there or some like tissue paper and do some i'm like getting so distracted by this purple it's so pretty oh daisy at tusker house yes <laughs> balloons i'm so sorry patrick yes daisy is not at tusker house and that is one of my favorite favorite places to eat i do love universal i'm sorry if anyone doesn't like universal i just like theme parks i grew up liking the theme park so i'm a huge fan of both universal and disney and i do plan on going to universal in january so i'm very excited for that um the next thing i mean i had done a review of this if you guys want to check it out but just in general i think luggage is a good like present for oh thanks lana for being here have a great night um Everyone, please say goodnight to Lana. And, um, oh, bye, Unicorn Kitty. Everyone's leaving. Harry Potter is awesome, too. Yes. But I think luggage is, I mean, I brought it out. So <laughs> if you guys like traveling, I mean, a new piece of luggage is also <laughs> really great. Um, uh, where they leaked the rumor that there will be a Lord of the Rings ride in the new park. I did not see that. But if there was a Lord of the Rings ride, um, I would die. Oh my gosh. Also, to all of my people that like Lord of the Rings, can you please send me a message on Instagram or Twitter? Because I'm trying to get together a group of people to do a Lord of the Rings stream one day. So yes, happy holidays to you, Lori. Um, also, welcome in. And if you guys like Lord of the Rings, um, I think I can have up to six people. So let me know um, if you would be interested in maybe being a part of a stream about Lord of the Rings. So let, yes, you guys just send me a note. Worst cases, um, <laughs> same Steve. Steve says, I don't like Lord of the Rings. I love and live it. Yes, I feel that way too. Um, and you guys are asking about Funko Pops earlier. Like I only really collect Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit Funko Pops. I have a few Disney ones, but the majority of my collection is Lord of the Rings. I probably have like, 25 of them. Hey, Sam, I hope you're having a really fun time at Festival of the Holidays. Legolas, my man. Yes. Um, Arwen is my favorite. Oh, that's really cool, too. Um, I, I think um, I said Gandalf and Sam, but Sam are definitely, I think Sam is my favorite character um, for a lot of reasons. I spent a lot of time pretending to be Gandalf. Does that count? Of course it does, Dougie. Everyone, I think, pretended to be Gandalf. You shall not pass and yes uh, I just love that movie so much so if anyone is interested just send me a note on Twitter or Instagram um, and we will figure something out but yes going back to luggage it is a great gift they have been on sale recently um, because of Black Friday and the Cyber Monday I feel like anything we're talking about is probably on sale right now because it's Cyber Monday um, but also if you don't believe in this like commercial like buying um whatever <laughs> i mean that's totally up to you too but i think because we all like disney we like buying things so that is another one so we did this um another thing that i really like getting every single month is hold on wait, my bibbity boppity box so i absolutely love disney subscription services it's really bad how much i like them but i've only found one that i really genuinely oh yes lord of the rings forever um i found one that i really really enjoy and i've tried other ones and i've like reviewed other ones and they just don't go hold up to the same standard so like even in this one they because it was my birthday month if i can open it again you'll see it in the video coming up but you could see they put happy birthday Megan in there and that's what they did for my birthday last year too when I like because I've been using this Disney subscription service for like over a year now and it's just I love it so much so if you I know that they have like one-time boxes or like Christmas boxes so if you guys like anyone like that I don't know who might like 
a Disney subscription service or just like a surprise. Cause like me, I like surprises. So not knowing what I'm going to get, but knowing that I'm going to get something that is good and is meeting my expectations and is at a good price point. Um, they have so many different options. I don't like anyone. <laughs> Same Steve. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It, the, Sometimes I get to the point where I'm like, I don't like anyone. So, and then I come back to YouTube. So yeah, Pam, I really love surprises. If you guys didn't notice that, um, even little surprises. So I always get so excited when I get that box in the mail. And like I said, I know they have um, like one-time boxes because I've done one-time boxes before, but then they also have like a special, they had a special Halloween one and a special, um, a special Christmas one. That's where the highlighted quote, yes. And sometimes I just, I forget that they're highlighted too. So um, I get that, Meg. When I worked at the chamber, I didn't want to even be surround or around Sam. I was so annoyed at people. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I get out of work and I just like cry because <laughs> I'm just like so overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that I have to deal with on a daily basis from other people. But then I get onto YouTube and I feel better. So, um, I know that you guys already probably have a lot of Disney t-shirts, but for people that are just getting into Disney or maybe you're going on a Disney trip, like a family trip, you can get them like coordinating t-shirts or family t-shirts or whatever. Um, my family this year, we're, it's not like Disney related, but I really wanted them to get matching frozen pajamas because we every year have been now getting, um, like now that my family were adults. <laughs> adults um we've been getting matching pajamas and then we take pictures and we have dinner with one of our family like friends and they dress up in matching outfits and um yeah <laughs> you need a disney shirt for every day well i let me tell you this someone came to observe me at work the other day and it's someone that you know is my it's my teacher um just to make sure that i'm doing a good job you know just observe me and she's like wait can i can i see your t-shirt can i see your shirt and i was like oh yeah sure she's like oh my gosh you're not wearing something that's disney what's wrong <laughs> and i was like oh i wear other things that are not disney and i was like i i wear them to work and she's like but i've like never seen you wear anything that wasn't disney and i was like oh i guess i'm the disney person <laughs> um I have two Disney tattoos. Would you get one or do you have one? Um, I have for, a, I don't have any tattoos. I have for a long time thought about getting a tattoo, um, either of a specific Lord of the Rings quote that I have been contemplating for some time um, or zero from the Nightmare Before Christmas um, for lots of reasons. Um, the Nightmare Before Christmas was the first movie that I ever, ever watched in my entire life. That holds special meaning to me um, because of other reasons, which I don't need to get into. I also, um, <laughs> unless Shep makes me, yeah, right? <laughs> I feel like that might happen one day. Um, and then I also had two dogs that were Bichons. They were so important to me. They were my best friends. So would also be honoring them. Um, and then my Lord of the Rings tattoo, I feel like would be um, Even Darkness Must Pass, which is a line that Sam says in his speech at Asgillioth. And that is one of my, that's my favorite scene in Lord of the Rings. Um, I want a complete Disney mismatching group family thing. They are so fun. I I've tried so many times to get my family to do matching outfits, but my whole family doesn't go to Disney. So, um, oh, thanks so much, Stacey. Stacey is like such a great mod. I like, <laughs> I don't know how I'm a moderator now for so many people just because of the competition. <laughs> because Not that there's competition, but I just feel like everyone does such a better job than I do. And I'm just like there. I'm like, hi. Um, so you also have Disney t-shirts. And um, yes, if you guys haven't seen... Um, Make take your time with what you would get for a tattoo. Nothing worse than getting a tattoo and not liking it when you're older. No, Tracy, this is something that I had thought about for quite some time. I still don't think I'll do it. Um, but it wouldn't be something that would be like a like really quick decision. Um, it would also be in memoriam for someone else. So um it's just things that I've been thinking about for the last seven, eight years. Um 
I was 33 before I got my one and only tattoo. Yeah, my brother has a lot of tattoos, so I know like what it what it looks like and everything and I don't know. So, I mean, right now I just have I I have my piercing. So, <laughs> Patrick has four. So, it must run in our family. Yes, that was not the brother I was talking about, but um that's that's pretty awesome too. You guys should do a, a tattoo stream. Um Wait, five. <laughs> I don't know. I have like stickers and pins that I have instead to like commemorate things, but it's definitely been something that I've thought about in the past. Um, then I want to jump into, I also like pulled my lounge fly bag that I use for work every day. It's stuck on this, um, which is my shock bag that I, I literally use this every day. Um, if you know anyone that likes Disney, they will like these tiny lounge fly bags. So um, thank you so much, Stacy, for posting that. And that was like the last materialistic item that I want to talk about. Um, I'm sure that you guys have other ideas, but I'm just giving you a general idea of what you could possibly get. Um, I have one tattoo that I did for my daughter to honor her father, even though he was the one that messed up my back. Oh no. Pam, I'm so sorry, but I also want to say um, thank you so much for sharing your story, and um, it was just really moving, and I'm so proud of you for coming, like, just coming out to us, and um, yeah, we're just really proud of you. Um, no more props. Well, because they're not materialistic items anymore, they can't be props. Woo! Um, yes, you guys could put hearts in the chat for Pam. She was so strong to share that with us. Um, and numbers are really hard. So I am not a math person. Um, Pam is amazing. So I'm so glad that she found her way into our Disney community. Um, so something that I tend to do for presents for people, um, <laughs> my mom, <laughs> mostly, because my mom is like the only one that goes to Walt Disney World with me. But I'm also taking um, I'm also taking ideas that other people have given me for gifts um, that people know that I like <laughs> I like Disney. Um, oh, look at all those hearts! I love seeing it. So thank you guys for being so supportive of her. Um, so one thing that I like to do for my mom and my mom has done for me in the past is doing like a sp oh <laughs> thanks Lena. You guys you guys are always so kind to my mom and um, thanks so much for showing her love too. Yes, just a puddle, a big puddle of awesome tears. Winter's a good time to stay in and cuddle, but put me in summer and I'll be a happy snowman. Hey, Charlie, welcome. Um, <laughs> crying during my stream. That always happens, doesn't it? Hey, watch it happen during the Lord of the Rings stream because that's like really emotional for me. Um, but anyway, what I tend to do with my mom, what my mom has done with me in the past, um, we've done special dinners at Walt Disney World. Hey, no bottle talk. <laughs> I have three tattoos, one for my late husband, one for my boyfriend, and one for me. Hugs to you, Pam. It's not a club we choose. No, you guys are so strong and it's, um, it's not fair that that happens to people. And um, just the fact that you guys are so open to talking about it just shows how brave you are. And just, I, I commend you for, for sharing your story and just being open about it and helping people who might be in the same situation. Um, yeah, so going back to Disney food, we have done, um, <laughs> we have done like, I know for, Christmas like three years ago now I think it was um no don't you get on that too Patrick you <laughs> Dave is always like who's Ryan who's Patrick but then now Patrick's doing it and it's confusing me <laughs> um but we have done um like a couple years ago, my mom gave me uh, a gift card to do Be Our Guest. We did it together, so it was a lot of fun. Um, Be Our Guest dinner specifically, because for a long time, I wanted to meet the Beast. The Beast is only available to meet at dinner at Be Our Guest, so I was like, I want to do this one day. And so that was my Christmas present for that year from her. And it was so magical and so special. And I dressed up like Belle in a yellow dress, um, Oh, Lynn, enjoy your Chinese food. Have a great night. Thank you so much again for the super chat. Um, I will stay Steve just for you, Meg. Mr. World just doesn't have the same ring to it. Okay, that needs to be highlighted because <laughs> uh, when I get takeout, I always say zip and Nicole shakes her head. <laughs> 
you guys are changing your names. It's so confusing. And Steve is always going to be Steve. I tend to call people by their first name. I think it's, I don't know. I just think it's, I find that I am more, I feel more respectful of calling people by their first name. Oh, Lauren, thank you so much. Have a great weekend. And just thank you for being here. Um, yes. Yeah, so I feel it's like, you know, when you know someone for a long time and they used to be Mr. So-and-so, like Mr. Smith. And then when you get to be an adult, they're like, call me Bob. And I'm like, Mr. Smith, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I will stay Lena. That's so funny because I feel like even no matter where I am, I'm being called a different name. Even like within my family, I'm like, <laughs> I just think back to one of Ryan's videos. He's like, Abe. Bryn, Cash, Delaney, whatever child you are. And I'm like, yep, that's that was my family. Like, whatever kid you are, you know, there were so many of us. So, um, <laughs> ah, Andrew, that's too funny. Yeah, so everyone's going to be um, not Mr. Steve, but it should be Steve. Um, I think calling people by their first name makes it more personal, more like family. I totally agree to Steve. Um, I also just think it's so funny that somehow Patrick Zibidi Doodad then became my brother because Patrick is my brother's name. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so we tend to do the cool dining packages as well. So we've done the Phantasmic dining package. We've done the Rivers of Light dining package. We haven't done anything in Magic Kingdom yet, but... Um, we also did the uh, Hollywood and Vine one. All of these I would highly recommend. They are so good. The food was so good, especially Hollywood and Vine. I have to do like a complete review on that. But we had Chef Sean in there. And oh my gosh, he was so kind. He was so, so accommodating. Um, Zip can pass for your brother. He looks 29. We, he's he's 32, right? <laughs> uh I'm one of three girls when my mom would yell, Joe, Wendy, Jamie. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I am I am the only girl in my family, and I would still get called my brother's name. So it's just like, whatever child are you? Um, someone was always getting in trouble or just, I don't know. Patrick is not 21 because I am not 21, and I think that I look younger than Patrick. Rightfully so, I would say. But Patrick looks very nice, too. Um, and... Another thing that, oh gosh, um, another thing that I have really liked in the past is um, something that my brother gave me. Lena Zip is 21 plus 21 plus some. <laughs> oh my gosh. So something that my my biological brother Patrick has gotten me in the past is He's gotten me a Disney gift card and he said, this is for a tour. Like you need to pick, I feel like very studious with my pen. Um, you need to pick a tour to do. Um, he's like, what do I get her that she's, I mean, I feel like a lot of us are the same way. It's um, once you hit a certain age, you're like, I don't necessarily care as much about a materialistic item, but I care more about experiences and 21 plus 21 plus 10 if you're <laughs> oh oh Patrick thank you so much for always making not only me smile but the whole chat every Monday with you Meg you're the oh best friend partner a little, little sister anyone could have that means a lot thank you so much um yeah it's let me highlight that that's so sweet um it's coming coming here on Mondays um oh <laughs> thank you so much Mike I'm of course, you you're amazing. Um, but I've been going through some things personally. Some, I mean, Patrick knows a little bit, um, but I've been very, very much looking forward to doing the stream. Um, and it's like an hour of my time that I know that I like. I'm trying to make it sound like in a way that I'm putting aside to be happy. So, um, you know, like if all this other stuff is like tornadoing out of control that I don't have control of, um, I have control of this hour and, um, with you guys all being here. And I think that's why I was also very moved that, um, 
you guys were all very receptive to um, my video yesterday because I've been putting in so much work, um, not only in YouTube, I mean, just in life. So to get some, some like positive reinforcement um, has been very helpful. So thank you guys. Um, it just, it, you guys being here means a lot to me. So um gonna hold the phone again. Hold on. Sorry. Okay, hopefully she picked up. <laughs> it's always saying that my dad is calling, but just in case that um I did try to do disco Meg. Um I think someone else came in. Hey, does our dream welcome? Thank you guys for um all the, the hearts in the chat. It's very kind of you. And thank you once again to Patrick for this incredible super chat. Um, so happy that we're a family <laughs> and we only have nine minutes left. So whew, I just did disco. So um, I loved doing my tour. I did a lot of, um, wait, so I was saying, we, I feel like maybe as we get older, um, awesome, Stacy. thank you. Oh, Steve, <laughs> thank you. Love you, man. Can't wait to see you in January. We'll always be a part of our family. Hashtag chosen family. Don't cry. Thank you so much, Steve. Yeah, I, I'm like trying to keep it together, you know, like keep it together. So, <laughs> um, yeah, life has, life has been a lot um, recently. So just very much looking forward to um, January and um, hopefully just being able to finish the races. Um, so thank you so much, Steve. I'm so excited to see my family again in, in January and hang out with you guys and actually get to spend spend time with you guys. Oh, love you 3000. That's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys are, you guys are awesome. Um, so for my tour, <laughs> keep trying to go back to my tour. Um, I can't wait to meet you in person. Oh, thanks, Lena. I can't wait to meet you guys too. And um, anyone else that might be um, in Walt Disney World during that time, just send me a note and I'm sure we could figure something out. Um, I can't wait to hopefully meet you, Meg, when you're down here. Yes, Mike, 100%. Um, we will have to make it happen because I didn't get a chance to to see you in, in August and everyone, even everyone, I didn't have a chance to really spend time with. Um, I got to see Patrick for early an extra day or two, but even still it was, you know, everyone's, everyone else's trip was cut short and I left later and they missed the Beverly challenge and I missed everything. So I'm, I'm very excited to spend some more time with everyone. And, um, yeah. So for my tour, <laughs> my brother, he gave me a Christmas present saying, you know, here's a Disney gift card to use towards the tour. Um, he's like, why do you get someone that already has all the Disney stuff that they want or could possibly think of, you know? So he was like, I really want, what is this Beverly challenge? You speak? Steve, you don't have nightmares about it. I mean, <laughs> Steve won. He's the Beverly champ. I think he will never live that down. Um, I wasn't able to, Oh, Oh, no worries, Mike. I, I will be seeing Steve in just a little bit of time. So I'm sure we could figure something out. Um, but I had done a lot of research in what tour I wanted to do with the price point that I had. And um, I ended up doing the Marceline to Magic Kingdom tour, which I would highly, highly recommend. Um, just, wow, it was incredible to learn so much about Walt Disney in this, like, capacity and just about the park. And of course, you guys know that the Haunted Mansion is my favorite ride. Um, and you got to go backstage in the Haunted Mansion in the dining room scene. So that is my favorite part of the whole tour. And I cannot believe that I got to do that. So for anyone else that is a huge Haunted Mansion fan in your life or just in general who would like to learn a little bit more about um, Disney or the history of Disney World or um, they have the keys to the kingdom tour where you go in the utilidors or you know that stuff at um, Animal Kingdom Lodge where you interact with the animals or just anything there's so many different tours we also did the behind the scenes tour because um, I 
absolutely love plants and we have this amazing garden in the summer. Um, Wild Africa Trek was also awesome. Oh, I've never done that one, but I, I did a real Africa Trek. So <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that one, but I would love to see the, the difference between what it was like. I mean, obviously it's very different, but I don't know. I'm happy that I went because if, you know, I didn't go, Steve wouldn't be streaming. So it worked. Um, I used to know someone that worked at the Haunted Mansion and I got to do a backstage special tour by him. <gasps> That's the dream. <laughs> that is so cool, Mike. And Mike used to be a cast member. So Mike knows like everything about Disney. Um, but yes, a tour is definitely, uh, we didn't even get over to, um, very true. I love Tanzania now. I just love Tanzania in general. Um, what a life changing experience. And, um, I think Captain Cron had asked, um, the other day, yesterday, if I was ever going to release any videos from that trip. And I had tried to upload them, but YouTube had flagged them because I put like lions and stuff in there. And I, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, I don't know if it's worth just like gambling because my channel is now set to not for children. So I don't know if that would still be flagged, but you guys will definitely see. I'm trying to do like a recap of the year or my year and um, speaking like in terms of travel and um, I have like at least 10 minutes worth of, um, of like Africa footage. So a lot of animals, but I could see definitely in the future if I could re-upload them because I am so bummed that you guys couldn't see any of it. Um, yeah, it was so weird that they flagged them because I have videos on private to show my family and those are all flagged too. They're like, you can't show people these. I'm like, ah, okay. <laughs> um, and the last thing I want to talk about quickly, oh, is Pam leaving? Bye, Pam. Have a great night. Um, thank you so much for being here. And once again, always for sharing your story and um, thank you. Um, so quickly, I want to talk about something Um that not everyone might have access to, but if someone lives in, you know, a similar area to me where, you know, you're in the tri-state area, AKA New Jersey, Connecticut, or New York, you might be living near New York City. Say for instance, um, Noah, who is going to New York City like next week. So another really fun thing to do if you're a Disney fan is to go see a Disney Broadway show. I mean, they have The Lion King, they have Frozen, they have Aladdin. Um, they've had other shows like Mary Poppins, Beauty and the Beast, The Little Mermaid, etc. cetera. Um, right now, I think the only ones are The Lion King, um, Frozen, and Aladdin. Right now, they're having a deal for Frozen that it's buy one, get one free for tickets. So, I mean, Broadway shows are pretty expensive, but then there are also lotteries that you can win um, if you submit your name. Kenzie was in New York City yesterday. That's so awesome, Tracy. Um, I actually, <laughs> I was there last week um, on a whim to do something with my brother. And um, I was only there for a couple hours and then I had to leave. So um, just, it's so much, I hope the snow doesn't melt when I arrive in New York. Um, it will 100% melt. Noah, it's like already melting. Because <laughs> uh, I I mean, I don't live super, super far from the city. But I also, I mean, I, I do. I don't live that close. Um, Hamilton, the real one, is playing in Indian Indianapolis. And I'm taking my niece to it for Christmas. Ooh, that's awesome. Um, yeah, I would love to see that. But I also can't. Um, it's snowing so bad here. I actually haven't seen what it's like outside. Um, literally everything else around me got canceled, except I still went into work and I still went to school today. Like literally every other thing got canceled um, and everything else was canceled. And it was like, just kidding. You still have evening classes. It's like, eh, okay. So I think... I mean, I was going to talk a little bit more about small shops, but <laughs> we only have a minute left. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for being here. Once again, it's just, um, I really mean it when I say it's like my dedicated happy hour. Sometimes um, my dad lives in another state, so he sometimes will watch my streams. And he, like last week, um, was it last week? I can't remember. No, two weeks ago, he was like, you just you seem so much happier when you're doing it. So um, it's so nice to get that feedback and just know that, you know, my love for Disney comes through and that, you know, we're just all having a good time together. And um, Blue Nose, I see you. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't comment, Meg. I was making dinner, but listening, you are so awesome. And then you have, oh, the most magical spirit ever. A big hug for you. Thank you so much, Blue Nose. You are so kind. And 
thank you guys for being here, spending an hour of your time. Um, just, it means the world to me because I know that time is really precious and you can never get that back. So thank you so much for spending your hour with me and be, be sure to tune in next week for a special stream with Steve. I feel like we should be calling it Makeup with Meg, but everyone, please go head over to Pepper Tree Villa right now. Um, they are going to go live and just, oh, like right now, and please go head over there. Maybe we should say, um, what should we do? Hashtag, um, I don't know. Oh, Lena saying, Meg, 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 Meg. Uh, Lena, 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 Lena. <laughs> Thanks for us. Everyone have a great night. Please head over to Pepper Tree Villa. Um, let's just say food is good. I don't know. And uh, I'll see you guys over there. Have a great night. Thank you so much for being here and for all the incredible super chats from my amazing friends. Um, I'll see you over at Pepper Tree Villa. Bye.